I did a live stream yesterday regarding the Tucson backyard brawl remains that were found. The person that was streaming the Facebook live videos for veterans on patrol. The name is Michael Lewis dash Arthur Meyer. Okay. When I seen him on the tower, I thought that maybe he was possibly under the influence of something just by the tone of his voice and his actions. I heard he also has a rap sheet like six to seven pages long from Ohio. Now I can't confirm that that is him, but it looks to be so. His age is 39 should be 39 as of this year. He was 36 years old in 2016. Check this out. Oregon standoff. Fight breaks out between Arizona militants and Oregon standoff. It seems there's trouble in paradise. A physical fight broke out recently at the Moyer Wildlife Refuge between two groups of Arizona-based patriots. The scuffle, for which one man allegedly landed in the hospital with injuries, appears to have been part of a turf war over media attention. Many details remain blurry, but here's what we know so far. On one side where were the mil militiamen who have been occupying the federal building since last week in protest of what they say is an overreaching, tyrannical federal government. While the head of the standoff is Ammon Bundy, son of Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy, the main person involved in the fight was Arizona right-wing extremist Blaine Cooper. If you all do not know who Blaine is, do your YouTube research. Okay? <laughs> On the other side were a different group of, quote, patriots, many of whom appear to also live in Arizona. This group is headed up by... Hmm, who do we have here? Michael Lewis Arthur Meyer. The Tucson veteran, who he is not a veteran, okay, he claims to be a veteran. The Tucson veteran, who was arrested twice last year for climbing flagpoles in Surprise, Arizona. Now, I thought that that's all he had did. He was trying to get attention for the way that veterans are treated. And, and this is exactly what this says. In surprise to draw attention to veteran suicides. So he really likes to draw attention to himself. So keep this in mind. And if you all have not seen the update on that live stream that I did yesterday, it was not child remains. The medical examiner actually stated that it was that of an adult. Okay, Arthur says he went to Oregon for two reasons. To remove Ryan Payne, what? One of the pro Bundy mili militants in the compound who he claims is mentally unstable and to liberate women and children in the, in the compound? What? There have been no confirmed reports of women and children inside the building. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I also heard, and this is what I was wanting to confirm, is if he was a part of the Oregon standoff, because the way that he's acting in these videos, we need bodies now, is exactly how the Oregon standoff went. That's how they were acting. They were like, get down here now, blah, blah, blah. And they really were pulling on people's heartstrings. They had a lot of people, especially in the truther community, truther community wanting to go down there and a lot of people did go but a lot of people used discernment and was like no something shady about this which we now know okay so according to the Oregonian after Arthur's group arrived in Burns they quote erected a military style camo tent across the street from the compound, symbolizing sympathy with the militia's complaints against the federal government and dissent to the group's standoff. Arthur told reports that he and Payne, who he claims is suicidal and on a mission to become right-wing martyr for the cause, 
had a falling out in 2014 hmm, while participating in Clive and Bundy's standoff against the federal government. Yeah, this is, I guess, where I heard that they actually, him and his wife, got kicked out of the standoff because they were really hot-headed is what I heard. He said, I had to come up here because I know what he wants, Arthur told the Oregonian. And there he is. December 1st, 2015, founder slash program director of Veterans on Patrol. Here we go. And he goes by Lewis Arthur, but his name is actually Michael Lewis Arthur Meyer. Late Wednesday night, Arthur says he entered the compound and was attacked by Cooper. Others then joined in and someone beat up Arthur's friend, Jeff J-Dog Kagan. J-Dog posted the following account of the quote assault on Facebook. As soon as we made it on property, an individual approached Lewis and immediately put his hands on Lewis and the same individual need another CRT member as well. He tried hitting them with a black flashlight. We then advanced down the driveway into the refuge. While walking a white truck containing individuals with Blaine Cooper in it, he called Lewis and Lewis stated, Not now, Blaine. Blaine Cooper ran after Lewis and punched him from behind. Lewis turned around in a hot hit again. I ran over to try and say, We don't need this. And then Mr. Cooper stuck me in the face. And then I called 911 at that time. Lewis ordered us to leave the property and not return violence. We left property. Who wrote this article? Uh. Ow. Who? Oh, that's J Dog. Okay. So he's got a black eye here, right? I guess that's where it's starting right there. I guess this was right after it. Just going by what I see, guys. J Dog says he went to the hospital after the scuffle. But according to two men on the Cooper Bundy side of the scuffle, that's not what happened. Ugh. John Ritzheimer, Arizona's infamous anti Islam extremist, here we go, told the Oregonian that Arthur initiated the scuffle because he wanted a quote couple of seconds of fame. So that really does sound like he's what like what he's wanting to portray here with this Tucson stuff, okay guys? Like I said, I just report things as I see them. And use discernment for yourself. Research everything. Be open-minded. And Jason Patrick, another one of the occupiers who claims to also know Arthur from 2014 Nevada standoff, tells a similar story on Facebook. How long is this article? After a multitude of highly productive and peaceful meetings in town and on site, Lewis Arthur antagonist camped across the street came to breach the gate three hours after his arrival lewis assaulted the guard causing minor damage to the guard and vehicle lewis continued his march down the hill with his large companion and sidekick i guess that was j-dog he was met on the hill where another altercation ensued and he was escorted to the street where he continued to rant and cause a large scene he stated his intentions to tear this thing down Upon his arrival and setting up his camp across the street, his intentions and destruction are a clear and present danger to a so far, yeah, peaceful and constitutional stand with the worldwide attention. Yeah, it ended that way, didn't it? So far, it was peaceful. Uh-huh. Earlier this week, Patrick had to say this about Arthur. Louis Arthur, a.k.a. Louis the Prepper. Hmm. It's nice to know. The well-known antagonist has set up camp across the street. I know Lewis from a face-to-face -face meeting in Nevada, there's another state, where he made a bunch of false accusation of massive theft and me personally being a federal agent. He has instantly expressed intentions of, quote, tearing this thing down, despite his current work of veterans on patrol. He is bad news here. So is Arthur on a mission to destroy the Bundy protest? Cooper, the Arizona man who threw the punches, sure thinks so. Here is third person account of what happened during the Oregon, Oregon 
Lewis Arthur with two other men came into refuge last night and three of them assaulted a disabled Vietnam veteran at the gate. They threw him to the ground and cut his hand and broke his mirror off his truck. Then stormed into a ref into the refuge and ganged up on Blaine Cooper and assaulted him. Blaine defended himself and was able to hold the three off and make them leave the refuge several and make them leave the refuge sev several witness the event. He was welcome and is not part of the operation, but forced his way in anyway. He was told not to come because it was a safety issue. I do believe Lewis is a paid provocateur by the feds to divide and destroy. That is what Blaine Cooper said about Mr. Meyer. As the protest enters its seventh day, rumors of infighting and ever worsening morale are flying through the media. While New Times cannot confirm the story, the Daily KOS reported that one of the men raising money with Ritzheimer through his rogue infidel website ran off with the money and spent it on a drinking binge. Hmm. Did you all see him drink that bottle of water yesterday? He like chugged a 16 ounce bottle of water and I mentioned that on my stream within like five seconds. Just something to keep in mind. The more and more I see on this dude I think he's wanting attention. I'm not saying they didn't find a skull. I seen it with my own eyes. But if you look up just in 2018 alone for that area in Tucson, in the desert, how many bodies they find, it's pretty interesting. And I pray for the families that are involved. I'm not saying anything about that. It's just... This guy is very over dramatic, seems to want attention, and in my opinion, seems like he might be under the influence of certain things. Use your own discernment, research for yourself. Much love you all. I'll leave links in the description box.